Mr. President, I move that we resume consideration of House Bill 8980 under Committee Report Number 155. This pertains to the 20, 2024 General Appropriations Act. The parliamentary status is that we are now in the period of interpolation. I so move, Mr. President. Is there an objection? There being none, motion is approved. Mr. President, I move that we consider the budget of the Department of Labor and Employment and its attached agencies, namely Office of the Secretary, Institute of Labor Studies, National Conciliation and Mediation Board, National Labor Relations Commission, National Wages and Productivity Commission, the Professional Regulation Commission, and acknowledge the presence of its officials led by Secretary Benvenido Laguesma. For everyone's information, we will be taking up the budget of the TESDA separately. We now recognize the distinguished Senator Loren de Garda to sponsor the, the same, and Senator Pimentel to interpolate the budget of the Department of Labor and Employment and its attached agencies. The consideration of the budget of the Department of Labor and Employment, its, at its attached agencies now in order for today's interpolation. Senator Loren de Garda, the sponsor, and our minority leader, Senator Coco Pimentel, is recognized. Likewise, we welcome the Dole family led by Secretary Leguesma. Welcome to the Senate. Good morning, Chair. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. President. Your subcommittee G is ready to present the budget for the Department of Labor and Employment and its attached agencies. Just put on record as follows. For Dole Office of the Secretary, we recommend the approval of the amount indicated in the GAB, 38 million, 38 billion, 718 million, 390 thousand pesos. The Institute of Labor Studies, we recommend to adopt the House proposal of 71 million, 216 thousand pesos. National Conciliation and Mediation Board, we recommend the approval of the amount indicated in the GAB, which is 283 million, 36 thousand pesos. National Labor Relations Commission would recommend to adopt the House proposal of 1,436,356,000 pesos. National Wages and Productivity Commission, we recommend the approval of the amount as indicated in the GAP, 262,180,000 or 8,000 pesos. Professional Regulation Commission, we recommend to adopt the House proposal of 1,773,199,000 thousand pesos and for TESDA, that's later, I will read that later. So we also would like to welcome the DOLE and its attached agencies led by Secretary Bienvenido Laguesma and all the heads of the attached agencies. Yes, we are ready, of course, to answer the questions of the esteemed minority leader who was with me the whole time during our committee hearing and uh, I agree with him with all the questions which were also very enlightening during our committee hearing. So I believe that what we want to do is put it on record and um, I am ready to answer the minority leader's queries. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President, and thank you for the uh, permission granted to us by our sponsor. Yes, uh, I, I think, Mr. President, we subjected the budget of the DOLE and its attached agencies to extensive questioning at the committee level. So, but we were not able to dis discuss it to death. Okay, we discussed it extensively, but not to death. Kailangan. So, <laughs> no, but I'll try, uh, I'll try my best to. I've, g I've gained a lot of insights during the committee hearing, naman. So, I will try my best na no longer to repeat what the issues, the issues raised there and uh, siguro just uh, highlight some of the insights that we have gained, Mr. President. Let me start with, uh, ito I was not able to raise this because phone phoned in question ito about the PRC, um, Mr. President. PRC. PRC, the Professional Regula yes. Regulatory Commission, which is an attached uh, agency That's correct. with a 1.7 uh, billion peso budget. Para po malaman din po ninyo na May mga, may mga taong bayan tayong nakatingin din po sa inyong ano, akala ninyo. Sabi nyo, malit lang kami na ahensya, walang nakatingin. Meron po. No. Uh, may, may tumawag Are po ng pansin ng uh, opisina ko. Do we have overstaying examiners in the PRC? And uh, if yes, uh, what, do we, that, what do we intend to do about this uh, situation? 
Uh, how many are they? Yes. Um, with regards to your question on how to resolve the overstaying examiners, uh, the answer, yes, there are. The Commission, in its endeavor to resolve the issue of overstaying members of the PRBs, already submitted its pending in the Office of the President through the DOLE, of course, recommendations or reappointments or appointments of qualified professionals to positions in the following 15 PRBs, agriculture and biosystems engineering, architecture, chemical engineering, environment planning, fisheries, forestry, metallurgical engineering, naval architecture, nursing, nutrition and diet dietetics, occupational therapy, uh, optometry, psychology, speech pathology, and veterinary medicine. So we are still awaiting, Your Honor, the resolution uh, and the decision from the Office of the President. And to date, the Commission um, finished interviewing the nominees for uh, medicine. Further, the Commission diligently is conducting interviews of nominees uh, monthly to fast track the processing of nominations received and the submission of recommendations, further recommendations through DOLE to the OP. Uh, so what is the procedure? So the commission parang comes up with the shortlist and then for every for every vacancy, how many? Parang JBCB and tatlo, not less than three. Okay. You give it to the... the snow number. Uh, it would uh, depend uh, per sector, right? It's not uh, a hard and fast rule yes, okay. of one or three, okay. it would depend on the sector, right? Okay. And, but and all the 15 I read, they had submitted yes. to the OP. It's pending in the OP. So this, uh, these are presidential appointees and the ball is now in the court of the OP. Of the yes, Mr. President. Apa. So, but uh, itong allowing examiners to overstay, is this a violation of the law? Hold over, I am okay, told, older, okay. um, is allowed. It is not in violation of the Sige, law, Okay, but uh, yung, of course, we look at the spirit of the law. Kaya binigyan nga ng term para, you know, you can either retain them or introduce uh, new blood, fresh yes. perspective. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Mr. President, mm. because if we uh, allow the expiry of the term, there'll be a halt in the operations, yeah. and that would not be beneficial to the sector. And mm. um, as I said, they have done their job to submit through the DOLE, which DOLE did to the OP, it's pending in the office of the President. Yes, for as long as the law also anticipated the situation and allowed the holdover capacity. Uh, there are complaints with your oath-taking fees. Uh, is the PRC, has the PRC the power to regulate oath-taking fees? Mm, okay. I think they sought DOJ opinion. Um, and per DOJ, the oath-taking ceremony is private in nature, so it is not a function of the PRC with regard to the fees that you mentioned, Mr. President. Okay, siguro, as the law is currently written, so ganun siguro, but so if you want to, okay, if the complaints are now uh, piling up, Mr. President, eh, maybe it's time for... Congress to also react, no? I say, this is um, may I make a suggestion? Yeah. May I make a suggestion, Your Honor? Mm. Just like I did with Senator Tulfo about his issues with the PTAs. Because, as you know, the most important law and the biggest law we do every year is the GAA. So if you have concerns about uh, the oath-taking fees, uh, I have done it before that special provisions can be placed in the agency. And I would accept a proposed special provision from your Obviously. honor yeah. if you uh, think it would address the issue. Whether thank you, know. thank you, Madam Sponsor. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, perhaps yes. a law or a bill filed would be, uh, it would be more suitable, but in the meantime that there is no law, I would accept, if the chair would also accept, a proposed special provision in the DOLE for the PRC. Yes. Thank you, uh, but thank you to the PRC for uh, pointing this out to us. As far they sought legal opinion, and that was the result of the legal opinion. Okay. Uh, pwede bang mag, ano din, mag uh, announce din ng PRC ng mga achievements po nila? Like, uh, uh, does the system work? Have we uh, achievements uh, reprimanded, uh, disciplined, uh, the professional subject to 
PRC regulation? Uh, they say Meron that uh, they, they are online, they have a website, they regularly update it, right, with all your activities and um, achievements. achievements, accomplishments. Accomplishments, it's online. And accomplishments would include the disciplinary sanctions on, against the professional subject to PRC? Yes. You post that? Yes, control list. I am told that online they even include the control list and nakikita daw doon yung mga suspended? Oh, uh, licenses that have been revoked or those suspended yes. are included in the list that they say is contained in their website. Who suspends the licensed professional? Is it the committee or is it the commission itself? The board of that sector. The board of that sector. The board of that sector. And that's the same board which designed the examination for that sector? Yes, sir. Same, yes. same people? Yes. yes. Same, okay. Sige po. Uh, you have a computer-based licensure examination project. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Part na po sa budget natin yan. Computerization of licensure examinations. Mm. Yes. It's, it's part of the budget. It's an, it's an effective way of conducting examinations. Uh, it reduces a need for the usual requirements for uh, traditional pen and paper. It fast tracks the releasing of exam results immediately. Um, it was initially deployed, implemented in December 2021 for the geologist licensure and 2022 for the psychologist licensure exams. And if implemented and fully realized within the three-year period, this project would be able to cater to 510,000 examinees annually based on the examination with the three-year rollout budget plan. Yes, and it's uh, budgeted. When did, that, when, did, when did the three years start? The three years? Yes. 20, 20. The three-year period is 20. Yes, the rollout. When was it rolled out? It fully realized within the three-year period. Yes. From we're budgeted this year, right? Uh, we have budget this year, mm -hmm. and then we're asking again next year. So from 2023 up to 23, 24, 25. So bago lang, bago lang. So, yes. so nag-roll out tayo 2023, included din sa budget ninyo for 2023, and then 24 and, 20, and 25. So for, 24, so yeah, the, 25. for 2024, uh, how much of your budget is for this uh, computerization, uh, computer-based examination project? Let me check. How much is the line item for that? Hmm? Where? Sorry. How much is your budget for that? No, for the ask. Oh, no, for 2020. Labor representative. Is it for DOL? Is it not the For this year? This year, mm -hmm. it was not in the net, from my understanding, okay. and I had to make it uh, an insertion, an amendment that was fifty million. One five. Uh, five, zero. five zero. Five zero. And, um, okay. For next year, it's thirty five. From thirty five point seven. M. That is the approved budget as of now, okay. unless we increase it. Okay. And then uh, we anticipate na for year 2025, meron pa rin, kasi it's a three-year yes. plan. Okay, sige po. Uh, they're only proposing for the current year, which is actually extendable for another year. How many board examinations or licensure examinations are under 
the jurisdiction of the professional regula regulation regulatory commission how many all in all currently there are 46 boards mr 46 mm -hmm. 46 board exams exams or, or boards yan, and then uh, a board can give a more than one exam there are 46 boards mm. and under certain boards there could be more than one yes. set of exams yes okay but is the plan to computerize all of the board all examinations board. or licensure examinations under the jurisdiction of the PRC that. is that the plan that's a plan, but okay. uh, it would take time to... Yes, it's so three, so three years na yon. What is the... Ano, ilan sakop doon? Ilan sakop sa three years. So, 46. Uh, for the small and medium scale. Not all the 46 can be accomplished within the three years and under the budget, considering mm. that the budget was slashed one-third also. So, they'll have to adjust to that. But long-term plan, is that what you, you, want, you want? Kasi di ba, yung convenience uh, ng, yes. ng Actually, makarana, makara, makarana siya yeah. isang uh, sector ng online Actually, examination, baka mag-demand na yung ibang sectors. Actually, Mr. President, um, if I may, mm -hmm. if we only give them the budget, the, you but, have the absorptive capacity but, to do it, right? Yes. Lang yun eh. Wala silang, lo, wala tayong nakikita ng long-term proposal kasi, uh, Mr. President, kung meron mm -hmm. sana, di, we will study it, multi-year yeah, naman to eh. Uh, meron naman po, binibigay daw nila sa DBM, nasa slash daw palagi. So, explain nila sa atin. Yes, explain to us. Uh, it's not too late. Um, perhaps you could give it to my office and to the minority leader. It could be and, the, and to the chairman of the Committee on Finance, Senator Angara, and it could be studied because tama naman minority leader, pipili ka ng isang sektor, paano yung iba? At if it's yes. a reasonable ask and within, you can do it as long as they have the absorptive capacity kaya nyo gastusin at kaya nyo gawin yung 46 boards. Kaya nyo. Long term. Ah, they can accomplish it within 2028. But within the three-year period, will you be able to accomplish it? The 46. Uh, the 46. Okay. So realistically, the 46, it's good that you tell us so that you don't mm. pretend you can do it. Yes. We give you the funds and then you're not able to obligate it. So yes. till 2028, they would be able to finish it. So, yeah. so, so there will be a parang, there will be another multi-year uh, project proposal from the PRC to computerize the board exams. Okay. So, so ito, perhaps the question ito parang is... Pilot, yes. Naging pilot ito for yes. the, the next three years. May plano na po sila. Huwag na natin i-disrupt yun. Yes. But it's a, it's a good plan. Na? Ituloy na rin po natin sa 46 other uh, sectors. Yes. Pa. So uh, perhaps to summarize the ask of the minority leader is give us your multi-year plan to accomplish all sectors, uh, 2028 is quite too far, uh, honestly. Could you d give us your best effort to make it sooner? Yes, and what is it that you can accomplish within the given time and the budget, if approved, can be increased? Basta kaya niyong gastusin. Okay. Thank you. So Thank you. I want to move on to the Institute for Labor Studies, which will receive uh, 70 one million pesos next year. And jump on ILS natin. Bakit bak hindi magiging sayang yung pera? Ay, kung biro gagastos, ano mo rin ito? Anong difference? Okay, thank you. Who's the head of the Institute of Labor? Okay, so... Sige po, uh... No agency is uh, too small for our uh, examination and uh, scrutiny, uh, Mr. President. Sometimes, may sinasabi, 71 million lang yan, palusutin niya na. Wag kasi meron din pong, ano, meron pong report that out of, uh, I will round off the figures po, uh, uh, Mr. President. Out of 67 million pesos worth of uh, or amount of allotments received in fiscal year 2022, the Institute obligated 59 million pesos, or 88%, leaving an unobligated un balance of 7.9 million, or 12% uh, uh, 
Mr. President, unutilized budget as of year end of uh, 2022. So is this observation accurate and may we know the reasons for uh, the quite significant no? Pers uh, unutil percentage of un unutilized budget? Uh, the unused budget was is um, due to a failed bidding procurement. Mm -hmm. It's procurement related for an ICT project, but they are doing it this year. From this year's budget, or utilizing the carryover of last year, December 2022. Yes, failed bidding. Failed bidding. Related okay, so to ICT. Okay, let's learn from the experience of the ILS. Was the failure in the bidding due to what? Lack of interest to bid? Or there were some procedural mistakes uh, committed, Mr. President? Oh, the prices increased. There was a markup in the cost of the ICT project for the supplier. Of the supplier. And therefore, there was a failed bidding and time was short. And um, the end of year was they were not able to utilize it. Hmm. So actually we see, Mr. President, whether it's a small agency of 70 million or DPWH projects, we see wastage of funds or not utilized or obligated within the year because of failed bidding, because of all these uh, technical if there, matters. If there yeah. are common mistakes being made yeah. or yes. common circumstances being, being faced or being met. Okay. Mm. So anyway, uh, we will we will just analyze uh, the uh, reason given to us, uh, Mr. President. What's the difference between the ILS and the PIDs? We already have Philippine Institute for Development Studies, and we have the Institute for Labor Studies. Hmm. So, are you a subset? Is labor studies a subset of uh, development studies? Yes, Mr. President. Uh, as we know. The PIDs is under NEDA, yes. and this is mm -hmm. under DOLE, and this focuses on, um, on labor and employment. It has three research divisions, the uh, employment research, labor and social relations research, and workers' welfare research, mm -hmm. uh, and two support divisions on advocacy and finance and admin. And so, you know, support honestly, we should use advocacy. them more. We should use them more because Maybe. the... Uh, the problem of this country really is employment and underemployment are one of the many challenges of our growing economy. And I think we should use this ILS more. Um, this was created by law way back in 1987. Mm. So, yes, yeah, uh, specialized subject matter. So, mm. But definitely, uh, given the, the abilities and the uh, credentials of those in PIDs, if, if given the assignment to do the studies which uh, ILS is, is doing, I think the PIDs can also do, do these uh, studies. I am certain, Mr. President, that the uh, PIDs, Philippine Institute of Development Studies, can also yes. do that, just like there are many overlapping research yeah. organizations uh, and overlapping yeah. programs in various agencies of government. Yes, but it does not mean that ILS is rendered ineffective, and right. perhaps we could utilize them more. Yes, to appreciate more the work of the ILS, may we know uh, what research papers they What's have uh, the completed, research? and are these, are these of practical value that they are being used by agencies, especially in the labor okay. sector or labor okay. uh, cluster, Mr. President? They actually have quite interesting researches this year. Mm. Employment generation in select ecozones. And then uh, DOLE's labor inspection policy, a case study. Regulatory impact assessment of DOLE department order on contracting and subcontracting. Uh, a human centered agricultural modernization. Ang ganda nito. Cases from the Philippines. I share, share nyo kasi sa amin eh. Hindi lang kayo nakabasa nito eh. Di ba? Innovative approaches to address labor exploitation. In the fishery supply chain, the case of tuna industry, 
Where do you put this? You, you upload it so that everybody can benefit. It's on a website. You promote your website then so that we know. Um, facilitating employment opportunities in the digital space. Ang ganda. Services of the okay. digital labor market intermediaries. Then how will waste workers... Uy, ang ganda rito ah. Hindi niyo binigay sa akin to. Waste workers benefit examining... Um, gusto to ni San Risa. Just transitions and the circular economy paradigms mm -hmm. in the waste sector. Mm -hmm. Ang ganda. Ganda Ang gaganda ng mga inaaral. Hindi lang natin nalalaman. May waste to energy bills tayo rito pinag-uusapan. So very, very yes. relevant po yan. Mm. Yes. Perhaps so, they could also look into artificial intelligence and how it would affect the labor sector. Ayan, assignment nyo. Meron policy brief. O sige, bigyan nyo kami. Okay. 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 Yes. So you see, it, it's, it's worthwhile uh, focusing on the smaller agencies also, uh, Mr. President. Pero uh, I think the Ah, uh, who's the head? May we know the name of the head of the ILS? Janet Damo po. Ma'am Ma Janet? Janet Damo. Damo. Okay. How long have you been there? Uh, kakalipat ko lang ng October, from. but I've been from NWPC, but I've been with the institute Ms. for 19 years. Miss Janet Damo. D yes, Miss Damo. Damo. Yeah. Damo. 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 Sige, Ma'am Ma Damo, uh, you mentioned, may, yung second function ninyo, you mentioned advocacy. So yes, advocacy. Uh, so, paano yan? Uh, what what do wa, what advocacies do you carry and then binabajetan pa natin yan? How do you how do you advocate for your causes? Anong anong kausa po ito? Okay, ma'am. Unang una we have a network. We are also part of the PIDS network. And then ang aming advocacy. Sila ba dapat? Hindi po, hindi po PIDS. We network with them with our researchers. Okay. Uh, their advocacy of course, will be on labor and employment, but they also work with the PIDS, and they have a network of researchers nationwide. Yung yun lang po yung sa PIDS, and then we have a research conference, ma'am, yearly on 28-29. We will present all our completed researches. Researches, okay. I think they could be utilized more, and they should be more high profile and more. Uh, communicate their researchers better because they're very good subject matters. We want to see the quality of the research. Okay. Let's give Ma'am Ma Janet the chance. Do you have any wish list? <laughs> oh, pinagbigyan ka ng pagkakataon. Dagdagan pa po ang aming manpower. Manpower. But pagdagdagan ang manpower nyo through MOE consultants o mahirap ang PS plantilla sa DBM. MOE consultancies. Research. Okay. Um, it will be a joint amendment, perhaps, of the minority leader and myself to give you uh, the wings to soar, but make sure you show us how uh, the general public can benefit from your researches and your advocacy. Yes. To give them manpower, why, how many do you have now? Um, less than 30. Less than 30. Okay. 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 Are so they doing Thank work? you to the ILS. Thank you, sir. Yeah. We will li listen to your uh, requests and think natin what we can do to... Tama kayo, because all them. our policies here, you should influence our policy and share. Um, if I may say this, this is not part of your interpolation. Lahat ng mga maliliit o malalaki na ayan siya na gobyerno, na research and policy, ilista natin yan, kailangan merong... Maggawa tayo ng general provision sa budget talagang sinishare, hindi lang i-upload sa website, to always share with our committee secretaries, with our secretariat, with all the 24 offices, so that we can utilize them. We should use, the legislature should use the executive department uh, to help us in our policy making. Yeah. Because all this, we, hindi namin nakikita yung mga output nyo eh. Sige po, like for example, sa DFA, yung Technical Cooperation Council, yes. tinitinignan din natin yun, napakaliit nun. Ilang, ang budget yata nun, eh, wala pang 10 million eh. 2 to 3 million. Pero tinitignan, ang, ang point po natin, uh, nandiyan na yan eh, it's part of the government bureaucracy and structure. It must have a role to play. So, we want, we want to empower you to be able to play the role that you're supposed to play. Kasi otherwise, kung lumalabas na...